Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. Please help us walk into what you would have for us today. I'm going to read Isaiah 42 today. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the streets. In the streets, sorry. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail nor be discouraged till he have set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law. Thus saith God the Lord, He that created the heavens and stretched them out, that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it, He that giveth breath unto the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein. I the Lord have called thee in righteousness and will hold thine hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people, for a light of the Gentiles, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise from the end of the earth, ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kadar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holden my peace. I've been still and refrained myself. Now I will cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all the herbs and I will make the rivers islands and I will dry up the pools and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not and I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. They shall be turned back. They shall be greatly ashamed that trust in graven images, that say to molten images, Ye are our gods, little g. Hear, ye deaf, and look, ye blind, that ye may see who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger that I sent. Who is blind as he that is perfect and blind 
as the Lord's servant, seeing many things, but thou observeth not, opening the ears, but he heareth not. The Lord is well pleased for his righteousness sake. He will magnify the law and make it honorable. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore. Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who gave Jacob for spoil and Israel to the robbers? Did not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. Therefore he hath poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle, and it hath set him on fire round about, yet he knew not, and it burned him, yet he laid it not to heart. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. It speaks so clear. Thank you, thank you for opening up the word and empowering us. And Heavenly Father, I thank you for my brothers and my sisters and everyone that is hearing this, even the ones that are not hearing this. I thank you for all my brothers and sisters worldwide and the ones that are in bonds, the ones that are, that are being tortured and maimed and, and, and going through hardships that we can't even begin to understand. Lord, I pray for them. I pray for even the ones that are listening to this. I pray for all Christians. I pray for humanity, Lord, that we may hear your voice loud and clear. And I say all of these things in the name of Jesus, my Savior, my Redeemer, my King, my King of Kings, my Lord of Lords. Amen and amen. Thank you for listening. Until next time.